All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are from, welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a good day. Hmm. Let me burp my tuna. There we go. So what's going on? I've just been enjoying uh, my time with uh, StreamerBot. Um, actually with Windows too. Not fully on Windows. My OBS system is on Linux. Um, but in order to get StreamerBot to work properly, I needed to install Windows. And I'm on Windows 10 on my laptop. And because of the lovely WebSocket, I'm able to get things to work. Setting up another chats up right here. If you feel like it, you can join the Discord channel. The link is below, or you'll see it in the chat. And you can listen in the background. So, uh, let's see what's been happening. Yeah, it was a pretty quiet week um i mean i did stream on uh friday i posted a little video i'm gonna start posting little snippet videos showing some of the plugins that i've been using right now quals it looks like you are the only one in the stream right now but that is okay I've learned to uh, send messages from StreamerBot instead of, I, 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 I kicked out Nightbot. I don't need both. I might have to adjust the timing a little bit. So the messages, I got them like five to 10 minutes or more apart. And today I'm back to using um, there you go, cool. I'm back to using uh, Social Stream Ninja for my chat. I really do want to get the um, chat from StreamerBot to be my main chat. But there's things like, uh, like I just did highlighting a message that I can only do with uh, Twitch. I can't highlight a message off of it from YouTube the way they have their API. Because when I do have uh, Social Stream Ninja up, I have to do this. So I have to have uh, all the chats popped out. I have to use Discord from the uh, web browser, not the app in order for it to pick up chat. And it's like three things that I don't, you know, extra stuff that I, I, I have out. The other thing too is, um, I see I have one coming from me and one coming from my bot. So some of the messages are doubled. Uh, let's see. look at my Twitter one we'll take a look at we'll change a couple things and I, I plan to maybe set up a, a, a um, plug-in one that I haven't used before one that I saw a tutorial 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 and uh, from um, Gale um, Gale level and it's uh, using the freeze frame plugin and you can make a ghost-like appearance. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to maybe set up a, a, um, a scene today. Let's see. Uh, if you are on uh, Windows and you have a...
update that won't update. <clears throat> it keeps telling you to retry. Let me bring it up here. I watched several of these videos. So if you have a problem with uh, the update that ends in 643, um, I didn't find it too hard to do. I mean, some of the other, um, some of the other videos that I watched on it use a lot of Windows command line stuff. Uh, this guy actually breaks it down a little bit easier where you're using the uh, this part. Basically, you're going to resize your recovery partition. And once you do that, you're able to fix and clear the update. So that is going on. Uh, getting ready to do the stream and, you know, uh, of course, making my bed and all that this morning. I... Uh, had YouTube on <clears throat> and uh, I've always been a big fan of Twit. I don't always get to watch it, you know, this weekend back with Leo, Leo Laporte. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I noticed they have a new Linux show for you Linux users out there, the Untitled Linux. I won't say it's new because it was episode 138. It's the first time I've seen it. Um... Yeah, it looks like also Social Stream Ninja is tripling my messages on my screen. That's why I wanted to get away from Social Stream Ninja. It was supposed to be away. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. To uh, <clears throat> have it not select or you know keep out duplicate messages, but that doesn't seem to be working right. I take a clip of this and, and show it to uh, Steve Gurren over at the uh, Social Stream Ninja, uh, Video Ninja creator, his Discord channel. That's why I just want to consolidate. I, I don't want to have all these things open. I don't necessarily have to have the chat on the screen. But it's a good way for engagement. Someone can come in and see messages that they missed. Something I'm, wor I'm, I'm working on. So I could just do... Do that. And, and this is what the uh, streamer bot chat would look like. Yeah, and it's probably because I um, one is sending from my main account, and the other is sending from the bot account that I have. The music is a tad loud. Well, it should drop when I'm talking. I want to keep you awake. Are you dancing? How's that? Should have ducking set up. I have been changing some things around. Yeah, ducking is still set up. Let me lower that a bit more. So it's either using that uh, green chat. Or I kill my, let's see, we'll go over. 
Here's my Windows desktop with streamer bat on it. Let's see. Oh, I think I may know what I have found. Go into commands, and that's where you set up which channels you're going to send them to. Oh no, that's a timer. That's right, I have that on timer. Settings. Timed action. The Discord message should pop up every five minutes. Telegram message about seven. And the one from Twitter, ten. They seem to be doubled. Social Stream Ninja seems to be. Right. As I learn this, I will endeavor to get better. So what I've uh, done recently, I, I had the scrolling bar with um, the... Um, list on it and I decided to do this instead oh uh, Kurt you did it once already but I'll just uh, so it slides out you got 10 seconds to kind of look at it and then it will slide away and then I also Hey, Tony, how you doing? Welcome. And I was working on, let's see if this works. Ah! Oh, interesting, it sends it out as multiple messages. <laughs> I thought I would send it out in one big message, just the way I've got it set up. Frozen? What's frozen? Are you frozen, Tony? Is it cold over in Spain? Oh, and the message redeemed all my stuff. Hmm. My stream is frozen.
Must be on your end, Tony. I see it working fine here. Refresh your browser. But YouTube on my end seems to be working fine. And Twitch is working fine. Are you uh, still on Chrome OS, uh, Tony? So it looks like with the messages, I have to kind of still figure things out. I'll start reaching out to some of the more experts. I follow the streamer bot uh, Discord forum. Starting to get to know some of the community over there. But we will continue to endeavor to do better. So let's see, do we want to set up a new, so what I want to do, oh, you're on, let's see, I am going to remove that one command. What did I do with that? Where is it? That message that I set up. Oh, such silly boy. Disable that one. All right, so I disabled the one about the redeem list. All right, let's see. So there is a fun little setup to do. By uh, Gale Level, where you can, let's see, this, where you can make yourself disappear in front of the very eyes. And I think it's using the freeze frame filter. I think this was the one. Yeah, the freeze filter. And Nutty had done this too. They all kind of, we all kind of copy each other. Here, let's see, he just, Set it up. Hello, Wuha. Wusa. 
Welcome, where are you from? So I was thinking of trying and uh, doing a uh, setting up a filter uh, while you guys are watching. So I thought that would be kind of cool today. <clears throat> so what I'm going to need to do is I need to take a picture of my background without me in it. And that's going to be one step. So I will use this scene. But I'm going to use my can. Trying to figure out which best angle I want. If I may ask, does Big Daddy Linux on YouTube ring a bell? It sure does. That's where you are from? Back in the day, which is just a couple of, a couple of years ago now. Not even that. Time flies in the... Uh, Linux YouTube uh, video community, doesn't it? Hey, low spec, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's see. So, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I was on there a, a, a bit. Not as much as some of the other guys. At that time, I was I was still pretty new in Linux. But now I'm hurting a lot of the Linux community feelings. I'm, whoops. I, I'm uh, actually on, not fully on Windows. Because I've gotten to more OBS stuff in the last... Um, several months I know there's a lot going on in Linux but I don't really I'm not really interested in a lot of that stuff I'm interested in this I'm interested in creating and uh, I discovered streamer bot Uh, you started your journey with Rocco Streams in the community. Your journey in Lennox. Ah, thanks for following on Twitch. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can't do that for... Uh, I don't think I can do that for YouTube. So I'm trying to build up my Twitch base. Because I think I just might in the future... Uh, stream on Twitch and release videos on YouTube. I'm still not 100% on these, this multi-streaming. And as we can see that I'm trying to use a, a, a social stream ninja to capture the chat in that. And some of the bots that I got going, a lot of the messages get doubled from me. And I have to have all these other windows open. Which my system can handle it, but it's just like I gotta pay attention to too much. So in streamer bot, you can get a wine version now. I'm gonna be interested. Uh, today the uh, wine version updated to 9.7. Uh, there is a massive lag. What on YouTube or uh, Twitch? Because I have, um,
I have, well, already uh, Twitch is on low latency. And I have low latency set on uh, YouTube. I have ultra low set and set a little bit of ultra low latency set up on uh, YouTube. Which seems to be pretty quick there. Which I know I've got a lot of. Uh, which is usually quicker. And it does seem to be right there. Yeah, it does. Well, which seems to be a little bit behind YouTube these days. <clears throat> Oops. Wrong message. I invited. At least two minutes between posting the message and seeing it on your stream. That might be a... Uh, Social Stream Ninja thing. And that might be, you know, and looking to kind of more consolidate. I don't want to, I don't want to do a bunch of other chat boxes and stuff like that. Um, And the whole idea is on, on the screen, um, you know, to capture the chat on, on, a, on the YouTube, YouTube, on the OBS screen. That way, in case it go, sometimes something happens in, in uh, YouTube that the chat gets knocked out, or, you know, the chat replay. And it's real hard for people to follow, follow what's going on. Well, thank you for um, following, and uh, have yourself a good day, Wusa. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that very much. Hope to see you around. Have a good day. All right, so. We do have a freeze frame filter set up. Or the, the plugin installed. I didn't turn my microphone on in a Discord, whoever was just there, and I apologize for not paying attention to that. Again, too many things open. Let's see. I've installed... Um, These are all, this is all the plugins that I have so far in, in my OBS setup. Maybe we'll work with the uh, recursion effect today and play with that. I think that works better with a green screen. Yeah. 
download this song. Too many uh, plugins to play around. I was actually dreaming about this last night. I got, you know, like I should have this stuff ready, of course. What a professional streamer I am not. Oh, for the record, lag is now three four quarters of a second after you refresh a tab. Yeah, I I do notice that if you set up um Twitch too soon. That it either doesn't refresh right. It's not like um, in that aspect. It's not like uh, YouTube. can't set up uh, filters plugins uh, as you're streaming or you have OBS open it won't work and I do like how uh, a lot of the developers are are adding Linux into the mix there's more and more as you see all the plugins that I had Zeldro and Finite Singularity and quite a few others. Someone is spamming in the chat? Yep, me. It's 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 me. And it's um Dreamer Bot. And it's, uh, it's, um, social stream ninja back to using that. But I think even if I was like, hey, look, if I was doing my streamer bot in chat. Now streamer bot, if I have the chat here on the screen, 
it just does one. So in Social Stream Ninja, it picks up both to um, Twitch and YouTube. So the messages I'm still kind of working on there because I, I uh, let's see I uh, unsubscribed or I, you know to um, Nightbot and to Stream Element and to all these others that I was never really using because of the abilities I have now with Streamerbot. Take a look at the recursion filters. See if this works. I think this mostly works good on a post of like follow. I think it works better on a green screen. Want to try out some of these new filters. And then also, I'm finding that um, even though these developers are doing a good job on getting uh, plugins for Linux going, there are a lot of times that there's uh, because, oh, I think I have both. Linux and Mac use OpenGL and they don't have that always set up right. No recursion filter, so that one doesn't work work properly. So like I said earlier, instead of having the scrolling bar, you guys tell me what, what's better. have where the, the points list comes out hello TGM 49 I use Linux Mint but I get frustrated I hit and switch back to Windows is that normal yeah that's normal um, don't let anybody tell you different um, there are a lot of things um, that are really cool about Linux. Um, I've been using it for over seven years now. Uh, I've settled my main distribution is Pop, Pop OS. Um, Linux Mint was okay. What camera am I using? My uh, 920. What's up, Adam? And uh, for a while there, I was just very okay with running OBS the way it was and was happy that a lot of these uh, developers were uh, adding to the, you know, Linux to the mix on their plugins. And quite of them do, you know, work pretty well. But when I discovered StreamerBot and I started looking at the stuff that I can do, um, it's just you know pretty cool and they do have a it's not for Linux but they do have a wine install 
and on the streamer bot side, the wine install 85%, 90% work, but that 15 to 10 to 15%, um, was something that needed to ch the chat, chat capture, what it could do with the chat, uh, the organization in that. Hey, Joe P, how you doing, buddy? Yep, uh, someone from, uh, that was in the past, uh, that would watch us on Biddle, just said hello. So, Some of the things wouldn't wouldn't work right so i went and i installed um you know uh on my laptop so i got everything tied together with teleport uh on my laptop or and the, the great thing about streamer bot is it works with website so i can you can put it on another <clears throat> distro another you know uh operating system and as you can see, I got all the organizational abilities. Um, the chat works. Pretty much everything that you know works. Uh, if I needed to connect to a file in Linux, I use Samba. But this has improved some of the abilities of, of streamer. And just using the uh, the 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 um, Linux version just wasn't cutting it. It's it's like some of the gamers out there. Well, thank you, Adam. But some of the gamers out there, you know. Um, Adam will tell you, it, 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 you know, there are some games that just don't run right on Linux and probably never will. Do I have it off? Of OnlyFans? Unfortunately, yes. No. No, yes. No. Joe says I can probably brag being the first person on before it really turned into what it grew into at Rocco. Lots of friends made because of it. And we'll always be grateful to them. Yes, I agree. Paul, how you doing? Welcome. Hit you with that link tree. That's the next step. That's the next. But, um, that's your, you question again pgm no it's if if it wasn't cutting it for you or if you didn't feel right i mean linux, uh, linux min is a relatively straightforward uh linux distro i tried it a bit i've used it on and off i've gone back to it a little bit it's never been my daily driver i'm not a big fan of cinnamon Top OS just works for me. Hello, Cody. How you doing? Welcome. So, you know, I, I you know, I split. I, 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 I use a computer. There's someone in here who will say, what's a computer? But, um... It's, it's a good combo and all the I, I get that windows is going in a weird direction and and then you know in what 
16 months, 18 months, Windows 10 will be gone and those that will be stuck may, you know, oh, you know, the Linux people go, oh, they're going to come to us, they're going to come to us. And yeah, maybe, probably not, you know. And they're all bragging about the 4%. We're 4%, we're 4%. Oh, no, it's 4.1%. Oh, yeah, all right. Fantastic, terrific. But use what works for you, you know, if you if go into Windows 10. I, I had not been, I mean, my son uses Windows 11. My wife is on Windows 10. I have to be their tech person. But my son has not since he's been on Windows 11 for over a year. He's not come to me with one problem. And I'll check up on him and make, you know, everything okay. Yeah, everything's fine, Dad. And he's brutal. Hey, I, he's, he runs his computer hard. Laptop. So install Windows 10 again for the first time in seven years. So much better. Everybody still says it's slow. It's not. It starts up in seconds. It shuts down in seconds. But it helps me with, you know, like streamer bot. And uh, using it, you know, just finding fun ways to stream and have fun. And... Let's see, doing things. Go to another. So you can see the, the movement. I mean, streamer bot has nothing to do with, with like this. I'm just trying to look at different camera angles and things like that when I'm streaming. Would I say I'm having fun now? Yeah. And um, I gotta pick up a. a I want to pick up a new SSD. I downloaded Windows 11. That could be, you know, I right now the setup is between Linux and Windows and Streamerbot on Windows and then WebSocket and just it's coming together. someone do the honors and do the Polaroid oh no I have insufficient points I couldn't do the test yeah just I mean uh, keep Linux around a little bit, you know, I have it as your thing and you can do stuff like and have that sent to Discord. I like that. And 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 the uh, sayings will come up random on the Polaroid and the Polaroid picture. Thanks, Joe.
But you can mix up the two. I mean... You'll, you'll hear all the talk about privacy and freedom and... How much Windows is ruining things, or Microsoft again. Just use what's comfortable for you. Um, I am just, you know, the, the, the version of Windows 10 now is is pretty smooth. Uh, they finally, everybody talks about the Linux, like the GNOME store and that. The, the Windows Store was pretty horrible. They finally... They finally... The Microsoft Store... They finally updated this thing. But tell me they didn't really steal this from Linux. But a great improvement on the Microsoft Store. This thing was like a horrible mess. And they just recently updated this. But if you're a gamer or, you know, you really like to get into all this type of streaming and streamer bot stuff, um, it, it, you know, you want to improve, like, engagement and that. Okay, PTM, just, yeah, use what, what works. But play around with Linux. You you know it's it's a it's a good combo. It's a good combo to have. Copying is the best compliment. Windows copies a lot from Linux. But. Uh, and I'm just I'm just hitting the tip of the iceberg with with this stuff, you know. And I'm starting to get to know a couple of the developers and doing, doing doing great work, like Finite Singularity, who developed the retro plugin. Which is not fully released yet. I, it, it's a, I think it's an alpha now, and some of the things don't work. He's got a matrix thing in his retro plugin that's pretty cool. Getting that I gotta go to a different spot for these commands. Once I set up the things for the points, I can't go in the same spot to trigger them. But this. off the TV I'm gonna work on doing more and to make it look more like TV I'm gonna to, to copy some video clips 
and see if I can time it right. And, uh, you know, maybe have uh, uh, vocal comments as he's changing. No, no, no. Oh, shit, turn this off. <laughs> But, um, yeah, just... You're going to get someone in the Linux community that it's going to think, you know, tell you you're crazy, you're nuts, don't do this. You know, they're the same ones that are going to tell you don't use Linux, use art, or don't use Mint, use Arch, use this, use that. Use what's comfortable to you. Use what you like. And piss on everybody else. Sometimes, uh, as much as I love the guys, you know, many of these people in the Linux communities have been with them for quite a while. There's always a, a vocal one or two or four or eight that decide, you know, that want to make a decision for you. I was watching the Linux cast yesterday, and some guy saying it. Linux Mint sucks. Linux Mint's horrible. Oh, well, they start talking about MX Linux. I don't know anybody that's on MX Linux. That's all BS. Why it's number one in the distro, uh, whatever. Oh, you know what? He's an arch user. But every distro just, just shut up. You don't like something, don't like it. Linux Mint doesn't suck. Linux Linux doesn't suck. It just might not be for you. Use what you want, don't listen to anybody else. Don't be afraid of being honest. Oh, you're gonna lose your Linux card. Man, big shit. Who gives a damn? You know, I just, um, there was, I just, I don't have this interest I did in Linux as I did before. I like it. I like being on top. I just like working on computer. I don't have to tweak, I don't tweak nothing to top. All right, Joe, best mechanic tools are the right ones for the job. This includes your OS, app, etc. Help. It's just, a, you know, still like a lot of the negative stuff out there. It's still just... I just. What do you want to do on your computer? You want a game? Steam has come a long way to, you know, having you run games are you an insane gamer uh, are you a power you gamer power user gamer then all the games might not be right for you on or on Steam okay There are some things that are actually, once you get used to them in Linux, are easier than Linux. Some of the fixes, some of the downloads, you know, your ability, your availability to software. Granted, it's not all the software that maybe works on Windows, like DreamerBot. Excuse me. And I don't have high hopes that, um, Wine version 9.7 has really done much because actually what needs to work in, in Wine is the WebView 2 move of you. There you go. 
long as it works and you like it, who gives a, a shite? I'm going to tell you why you don't use Linux. I'm going to tell you why you don't use Windows. I'm going to tell you why you don't use Mac. I'm going to tell you to shut. Because that's how they get, you know, that's how they get their views. They get their views and their clicks and, and uh, hatred. Helen Boitsky. Oh, your privacy. Well, you know what? The moment you be on Linux, the moment you're on the web, the moment you're in YouTube, the moment you use Google, the moment you use this, Your privacy really is not there. You can make things more private. You can try to remove all this stuff out of your life. But so many other things to worry about in this world. If you enjoy your computer, just run what you want, PGM. Run what you want. And have a good time doing it. That is fun. I just realize something so I'm you I, I have to use Samba to because like the snapshot uh, the screenshot that I get for the picture gets saved on, on, on Linux but I have to have a way for Streamerbot on Windows to grab that so I learned Samba I've never used Samba before and actually thanks to Vince uh, Actually, in a couple, you know, after I he told, gave me his little fix, and I read a couple of things, I'm like, "Oh, this was easy. What was I afraid for?" You know. But I'm thinking I have to have my file window, open, uh, you know, file explorer open on Windows to the network, but I have it linked to there, so it actually pulled that last Polaroid picture out, right? Red, red, and red, and red, 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 red. What's that say? Red is good. Red gives answers. Just offended half the South. Sorry about that. Huh? Fortunately that, you know, I have to have it connect to my, my home folder. So for the Polaroid pictures, these are the, it grabs uh, randomly one of these lines to throw on there. That's pretty cool. There was the Polaroid picture. I actually have it do two things. So it takes an original screenshot of that scene. And then when the Polaroid picture comes out, it does another screenshot. And so I don't have a ton of pictures. They're all just labeled Polaroid or screenshot and they get written over. Would that be RTFM, Sleepy Eyed Vince? Actually, we had a discussion about that on Tuesday, wasn't it, Vince? 
But there's really nothing inherently wrong with RTFM. It's how you say it. And one of the other things, if you notice too, I, I did a, a quick little video on this and, and um, I thought this was the issue I was having um, with the uh, Move plugin. Exeldra, this, you know, I can set up like hot keys and that to move all this stuff around. But, you know, if you notice that it just it, like stretches and then bounces in the, in the, in the place. By using the move plugin and and setting durations and and um, different um, settings instead of just having the fade or the swipe or and the uh, the more I get into OBS, I realize how little I know, which is like getting into things like Linux and that. <laughs> Professionally, no, I don't think you learned from me. But you're a smart feller there over in Australia there, Vince, I'll tell you that. But having the two systems work together is is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it was a little different getting used to you know Windows again on my laptop. Uh, mostly what I do is use it to separate some things in OBS using teleport. And I can, you know, um, offshoot stuff. I, I, you know, um, when I'm on my laptop, I use it to kind of, kind of surf. So I got things set up the way I did with my, my pop. I didn't do a whole lot on it with, with pop. Um, OBS is on here to, um, to again, so I can do show things off here, run, um, run streamer bot. And the other thing I have barrier running. So I I'm using the same keyboard and mouse, so I don't have to, you know, it's, it's just like a third screen, a third monitor. This is the, um, Streamer bot chat. I would I would use this, then have everything else open. But um, let's see. These are my automated messages. Trying to find person. See, the, these are from YouTube. These are from Twitch. Um, I can send. I can. Well, we'll do this. I'll set this up to where I have the pop-up message. And this is what it looks better on Social Stream Ninja. But I can't do that. I can't do that in uh, YouTube because of the API. But 
my Windows desktop. Yeah, I cleaned it up a little bit, but you know what? This looks like KDE. It does. Doesn't exactly behave like it, but you know. I'll have GIMP on here to, like, uh, if I make a thumbnail when I'm not on my main computer for the stream or something like that. You know, I have my Telegram. Please join my Telegram group if you would like. Microsoft Edge, eh, you know, I'm getting used to it. I actually do prefer a Linux file browser though. Um, the Windows one just has like way too much going on. I was gonna try, uh, I watched the video the other day. So Vince, have you watched the, uh, or Joe, have you watched the Untitled Linux show on uh, Quit? Uh, Quit? watched um, this video the other day and uh, this dude tech syndicate he installed uh, the uh, Explorer patcher now he's on Windows 11 so you can change like some of your Windows 11 stuff to Windows 10 not watching a lot of Linux contact yeah um, understandable in that but actually so uh josh bennett uh he does the floss weekly he was one of the dudes on it or he's the he's the main host so i was thinking of giving this explorer patcher a try and kind of streamline Bit. Oh, and thanks to a new subscriber out there, my fish tanks aquatics. I appreciate that. I don't know if you're watching. All right, Tony. I know you got to go to go to bed. You're you're not as insane as uh, Vince. <laughs> Ah, there he is. You are lurking. Oh, I, I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Uh, where are you from? If you don't mind me asking and how you found me and uh, welcome to the stream. Otherwise, I'm, I'm Windows 10 really, you know, outside of that update. Oh, Steve, didn't we tell you uh, Windows updates really are a pain in the ass? I, I, they just, they're just horrible. They take, take forever. Five years ago, maybe. I don't know Well, Steve, they 
they, they delete files. Happened to a few five, six years ago. Well, it happened on Linux uh, KDE a couple weeks ago. Installing your theme. Ah, you're not far, Woodstock, Illinois. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for joining. And do you have your own? Is is uh, that is, um? You have your channel about fish tanks. Uh, I have a a friend of mine. He's a he's a model train enthusiast, and he works, but he works for a. Uh, place that does aquatics like ponds and that very cool appreciate you pray appreciate following but you know what every every operating system has its issues in that um but sometimes in, in linux we 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 oh, we're, we're just gonna hold on to that hate steve balmer He's been gone a long time, man. Way long time. Turn off these automatic messages for now. Oh, I work around it. And I don't mean to put down my fellow Linux users. No, not at all. Because then you got those Windows users. Oh, I tried Linux 10 years ago, and it sucked. 10 years ago. Okay. You tried it recently? Which one did you try? Which one did you use? A lot of Linux, a lot of distributions are pretty sweet. Personally, I stay away from like the small ones. No support behind them. Always better off with some of the bigger ones. I'm not saying that they won't disappear at one time or another, but we'll get, you know. But don't be stuck on that. Oh, Linux sucks on games. Oh, well, yeah. It was Mac. But you can, you know, depending on, again, depending on your, you know, you just like the game to game? Or do you just, you know, do you, you know, are, are you this real hardcore, you know, well, you're a big streamer, so you need the, you know, the, the top stuff. I, I get that. And that's only going to work on Windows. I do get baffled by both Windows and Linux users in OBS. You you want to blow your mind, go over to the OBS Discord and join and look at the support. And you will not wonder why some of uh, these developers or those that are supporting things like OBS get kind of short with people. I've not ever, because I've used um, Hop, and going back to when I was, uh, you know, on uh, the older Peppermint, especially like up to Pe Peppermint 10, OBS just seemed to work fine. But I see all these people that, um, you know, compile it themselves for Arch, and then things don't work. No, and, and, and expecting an answer right away. But there was a Windows user that was kind of complaining something in OBS wasn't working and he sent his log and he was using Windows 10 version 1903 which was like 
seven years ago? Did you not update your system since seven, in seven years? Or did you just use a disk that you had to install Windows and it happened to be that version? version like yeah 19, 1903 was that it just blows my mind so both sides of the fence to the eye one side might be greener than the other and i'm doing this in between thing this mix i'm bringing them together i'm I'm, I'm holding their hands and we're praying to the computer gods. Please work. Hello, Eric. Okay. They're not going to be able to hear you out there because I didn't bring up my regular Discord today. Okay. Well, I'm talking to Eric Adams over in the uh, Discord chat. You guys can't hear him. I can probably set up my... Everything's going fine, Eric. Okay. They might be able to hear you now. Just set up the fence. You guys hear Eric out there? You might hear the music <laughs> kind of doubled out there. Oh. Well, I don't uh, want to mess up your screen. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I, I wasn't sure. So I, I, I was talking earlier that, um, hey, Nazi, how you doing? Oh, you changed your ISP today. Fantastic. Um, you know, capturing the chat for, you know, for the stream and that um with using social stream ninja which is, is, a, is a pretty cool tool i have to have uh the chat windows open um for it to work because it's a browser extension they are he is working on a desktop uh a desktop install um but i think it's still in, in beta and uh, so I have to have like all these windows open and I have to have, so I have to have a Twitch, not only open, but popped out. I have to have Twitch popped out. I have to have YouTube popped out. I have to have um, the, in order to get the chat off of Discord, I have to have that uh, in a web browser. But for the way I had it set up for voice, I had to have, I have to have the regular discord open and it gets tiring to open up all this stuff and have everything open you know whereas like using streamer bot and trying to get their integrated chat going is um th uh, three less things i have to have open and in the with, with the streamer bot chat i can make replies in that to twitch because of the way Twitch has their APIs and that, but YouTube, I can't. So like on the screen, if I highlight a chat using streamer, but I can highlight any any chat, whether it's from YouTube, Discord, or Twitch. With streamer bot chat, I can't. So kind of like, you know, and sometimes like not all streamers put chat on their screen anymore or a lot do because that's the way it, it's been. It's a way to follow engagement. Uh, YouTube can get bad sometimes, especially if you do a little, like uh, if you edit the stream, 
it will knock out the um, it will knock out uh, the, the replay chat I don't think that's an issue in Twitch that's the way Twitch is designed so. things I'm, I'm you know just you know working on on my, my journey here I think that's kind of the expectation is the streams I've done I'll include that simply because if you for some reason YouTube does get weird um, it's I, I don't know I think as a reference maybe to see the conversation but um, I had a question for you someone had mentioned last night that you've been using Windows more because there's a lot of plugins that aren't compatible with uh, Linux have you found that to be true that like the stuff you're trying to do just you can't do on Linux just out of curiosity um I I've got, a, I've got, well, I have a lot of plugins installed and, um, I haven't used all of them yet. I tried to, there's this one, um, the recursion, um, filter by Zeldro that, um, when I think it really only works in a, in the green screen environment, but like it, it kind of like, it's this, this trippy you know you move your head and it, it kind of like follows and leaves like traces of your you know head or your hands in the air um so what i'm finding out is and because i'm starting to get to know uh uh not so much exeldro I, I mean uh he's he's an awesome plugin creator um but finite singularity and um i guess to have things function in Linux, they have to do a something with like OpenGL, and for for it to work in Linux and and, and um, uh, Mac is is what um, I was told. And sometimes you know, and they themselves don't use Linux, so they they rely on someone else to help them. Yeah. I do find majority of the the the, the plugins do work fine um, oh okay that makes sense they, though they, i mean I, I, I would assume most of their users are going to be on windows as well so it's probably a small percentage sounds like a lot of effort to you know if maybe if they used linux themselves they would have more of an incentive to do it but, yeah yeah i mean but the fact that they're 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 actually they're, they're doing it they got someone you know it's just like throwing like what we see all the time in Linux, you know, other throwing their hands up in the air. Well, it's Linux and I'm not going to deal with that. You know, I personally, I'm not a coder or anything like that. So I don't know what's involved there. Um, I watch a lot of finite singularity on, on Twitch and the stuff that he does and the coding that he does to create these plugins. I can't wait till, uh, his retro plugin is, is, um, uh, fully released. Uh, I'm running the um, one of the alphas or betas, uh, so not everything really works. But like where you see my TV turn on and off, and uh, you know the, the screen turn on and off, or I can have that um, like you're in between channels and the channels are flipping, kind of thing going. That works. But he's got this matrix thing that he's added to it. And because he hasn't really worked on the OpenGL yet, and that it doesn't work. Um, but a lot of the developers, you know, that are doing these plugins are, are doing it, are, are doing it with Linux in mind. Whereas one of the reasons, actually the main reason that going to Windows 10 was the streamer bot. It, it's just, you know, it, it gives the control and the creativity to do the things like I do with the Polaroid shots and the turning the TV on and off. and. Yes, I can do that in OBS alone, kind of with um, hotkeys and um, maybe using the um, uh, automatic scene switcher or the um, uh, yeah, using micro ma macros. But you know, uh, I was watching Finite set up one the other day. 
10 times more involved than actually just doing in StreamerBot, you know, and in StreamerBot, basically you're setting up actions and it's like, okay, first your screen's gonna open up and then there's gonna be a delay before maybe the next image comes up or a sound comes up. And then there's, you know, you know, like with the Polaroid um, action that I made, you know, it, it, if I'm not on the scene I am on now, it'll switch to it. It will um, bring up a, uh, a a countdown, three seconds. Like you know, okay, so I have I have three seconds to do a, some kind of a pose. So I get this warning, and then there's a camera click, and then the snapshot is taken, and then. Um, the image comes up and I have it just like with Cody I have it where then it's actually taking another screenshot of that Polaroid picture but I also have it where it's grabbing random titles to throw on that picture and it's all about like engagement and having fun on the stream um, and it just, it's, it's just, to me, it, that's fun to learn. And I'm still barely at the tip of the ice, you know, because I haven't. Yeah. And it, I can say it sounds like that would be, I mean, even though you're saying you could do it with keyboard shortcuts, it would probably have to be really complicated and like, you'd have to hit the keys in the right order and, you know, all that. Right. And then, stuff, and so. then, you know, and, it, and it's, it's actually for those in the chat. You know, all right, let's mess up. Let's mess up Steve today. You know, let's let's do this then. <laughs> oh, he's just, just helping and demonstrating. Thank you, sir. Um, but it's, all, it's also for, for uh, in, in engagement. And again, like I said, for the, having the audience. You know, you know we, am I going to be talking about something interesting all the time? You know, even your best streamers don't always talk about something interesting all the time. And then, you know, it gives a break in the action or someone can, you know, mess with you. There's this streamer out there, his name, the kid's name is Nutty. He, oh my God, you should see it. his OBS lab to begin with. He has a, uh, multiple PC sets up, setups and multiple cameras and multiple actions. And he, you can, like cause an earthquake on a screen and flipping and all sorts of stuff that people are just doing, you know, um, they have fun and, you know, it, it just, it, it can make it more, more entertaining depending on the scenes that you create in that. Um, you can create actions using, um, you know, code like it uses C sharp and um, you can consolidate the actions and even add more and it takes a while to code these things you know and I'm not at that point close or even close to it yet um, but it can make instead of like you know it takes all these sub actions and pretty much puts it into one program and also it works with, because OBS is that, um, you can do raw in OBS, or OBS raw, I think it's called. And then WebSocket just binds it all together. And that's just what makes it, um, you know, uh, able to put it on another computer, different operating system all together and have it work with my Linux setup. But I, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun learning it. Um, it gets, it can get a little aggravating when things don't work right. But that's what you work around. You know, you keep on going. And, and right now, the streaming and the engagement part is um, what I'm really enjoying. Anything to get you guys so have some fun. So have you, I don't know if you follow or if you've looked at 
from Urkel often, just out of curiosity to see like what type of features they offer and like do they build in a lot of these things that you are setting up or I mean it seems like every time I've looked at them they seem really slick but they're also really limited and they tend to be pretty expensive as well what was that now you know like they're the um, streaming services like StreamYard and other stuff like that I don't know if you've ever looked at those just just out of curios curiosity to see like to compare them to what you're able to do um i mean i've i've used streamyards in the past um if you uh get the paid version uh which can be i think it's more expensive than just having zoom alone you know it's uh, like streamyards as you can think of it it's, it's uh zoom and uh uh obs had a baby um there's a, a streamer a couple streamers on there oh so i was like uh, nick nimmin uh he does youtube uh you know how to improve your youtube channels on usually on saturday he's got this big studio set up in that and he uses the paid paid version of of stream i don't think it has like the plugins you know it, it has certain abilities I think the paid version you have more where you can have more people on and things like that but what that does is take takes the little ducky out of the corner of the screen um the watermark if you got the free version um he seems to be doing you know real well with it he's got his studio set up and that's what he uses and then his brother um I think uh, for uh, if you're having multiple guests on, it's a real good platform. Whereas with OBS, you have to like uh, either um, window capture Zoom or Jitsi or you know uh, like Leo and Dan do. They'll capture the Discord chat or video. Um, Zoom is one of the best to capture that way, um, like Jitsi and all the others. When you mouse over, how the controls pop up in that and can interfere with the look of the screen, where if you just want a camera, uh, StreamYard like, won't do that. Um, there's EVMux, which is like a StreamYard. Actually, it has more functionality with the free version than StreamYard does. But... Um, I mean, StreamYards was, I think they might have come down in price, but let's check this out. I mean, it was kind of expensive. It was like, um, on the screen, I'm going to switch over. So StreamYards, um, basically free so you're gonna have the logo on your stream um there are streaming limits stream and record up to 20 20 hours a month so if you're on the free version and you can do two hours worth of local recordings and but you can have six on screen participants and it goes to 20 dollars a month for the basic where you can multi-screen in three destinations, have logos, overlays, and backgrounds, uh, pen on screen participants, pre-recorded stream for an hour, unlimited streaming, live streams are recorded. You can use custom RTMP destination and that and have up to 50 hours of storage. So at $20 a month, that's 240 a year, you know, Depending on what you're doing, if if you are, uh, you if 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 you um are monetized, there we go. Uh, you will, you know, you might choose that. Whereas, can you you know do the free version? Well, you're limited on your stream. 
and then there's a professional uh, version, which is uh, $39 a month. Which has full HD 1080p multi stream to eight destinations. And then, and, and, and so StreamYard's actually, they offshoot it. It's all the um, powers coming from them, it's not your computer. We're like Jitsi and, and Zoom, I guess. No, no, Zoom, Zoom will help you. But like Jitsi, it's going to be based on your computer and, you know, whoever. If someone has bad internet connection, they're going to have crappy cameras and that. We've, how often have we seen that? I oh, have yeah, uh, Video Ninja, uh, my fish tank aquarium. It has really, he has done, I, I mean, I haven't used it. When I, I looked at it in the beginning and it was like, oh, there's too much to do. He has made it so simple now. And something like Video Ninja, um, in a, um, the, um, uh, oh, is that free, that free open source podcast with Josh Bennett, um, Foss, Foss, free open source. They had an episode about WebSocket and, and all that, and something like Video Ninja may be included in the future or easier to add on as a plugin for like OBS, which would be really cool. So, you know, depending on what you want to do, you know, StreamYard and some of the others, you know, um, what what uh, I didn't particularly like was the, again, like uh, you mouse over the controls and they pop out and they kind of get in the way and it takes away, you know, from the the image or whatever you know if you understand what if you know what i'm saying so you know i i i have looked at them i mean obs there's a lot it, depend, it, it depends on what you want to do one as a streamer and two as a creator You know, like, um, I, I know, like, on a couple of your shows, like Linux OTC and, and all that, I think everybody does a real good job of, you know, kind of separating their, their audio and make it sound better. And there could be nothing worse than someone joining a stream that has a webcam mic and it sounds tinny. If, if you're just doing, um, I, I don't know, uh, like a, a saloon style or, you know, Big Daddy Linux style might not matter so much, but when you're doing a podcast, you want everybody's audio right, right? You know, um, having that kind of like tinny microphone really takes away. And, and there are actually some podcasts out there that will release like that, like real hard to listen to. So, you know, I mean, that's my take on those things, so. Um, stream, I've never, I, I've never tried Streamlabs OBS or, you know, all right. And they have to change their, their, their name because of the OBS stuff. But they're getting more, from what I understand, they're getting more plugins. A lot of, there's a few streamers that use them. A lot of big streamers doesn't. They'll still use OBS because of what you can do with it. But that's my take. Yeah, if you uh, join the um, Video Ninja or what was he called? His is his um, Discord channel? It's video that ninja. Uh, Steve is always he's 
between his social stream ninja and and, uh, and uh, the VDO ninja. I don't know if this guy sleeps. He really is. He's he's, he's always there and always um, uh, working on screen. Uh, uh, things for a screen. We use VDO for uh, Linux OTC and Mintcast for the podcast because yeah, the the audio quality is so good. And you're right, that guy's super responsive. If you have any questions or problems or anything, it's a really neat system. Yeah, it just, you know, and I, I, if I post something, I never expect an answer right back. Um, I, oh, one time when in the OBS thing, I'm going in, I'm going on live in five minutes. I need help now. No, you, you ain't going live in five minutes if you need help now. Because one, no one's going to reply to you really quick. Yeah, I, 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 I sent a couple of things to him and, um, didn't, you know, figure I'll check back later in that before I leave the, you know, the discord, he's already posted a thing on it. And dude, don't you sleep? You're in their discord, uh, aquatic. You haven't used your OBS in a while. I right, and it keeps getting better. He's got you know for a uh, open source software, it just keeps getting better and better. And with uh, you know and and um, the uh, plugin developers that are working on it, there's um. I hope it gets continually to get get better, but there's a um background removal um, that Roy Schlatt, um has been working on problem is uh, I I think the GPU might work better on a Windows side platform because I can't seem to get it to work on Linux even though like I do I I don't have the you know the best card out there but I do have a decent card the 1660 GTX but uh, if you use uh, the CPU to render uh, background removal, all of a sudden you're like, with the, what I have open and going on, uh, my OBS is using up like 9.8%. It will jump to 40% with the uh, background removal on there. And you can use it, but it really wobbles around you in that. Very distracting. Kind of like the background removal in Skype, which some claim is really good, but. All right. Well, Adam, thank you for uh, stopping in and saying hi. I am going to get ready to kind of end things for the day. I'm getting hungry. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'm uh, happy to hear you're doing well, and uh, I'm just going to jump off, but uh, I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Take care, Eric. All right. That was Eric Adams. He's on the, uh, oh, the uh, Linux OTC podcast. He's on, been on Lent, um, the Mint podcast. He's been on, um, he was on Linux Saloon last night. He gets on when he can there. He uh, also on, um, Oh my gosh, what, um, uh, no, he's on another one. Linux. With Daryl and, um, well, oh, sorry, sorry guys, I'm going blank on that. All right, everybody, um, let me switch over to my end screen here. All right, I want to appreciate, I want to say thank you to everybody that stopped in today, a couple of new subscribers. Thank you, uh, 
uh, my fish tank products for Scott Brickman and uh, uh, PGM 49 and Woosh was great. Uh, Woosa, Woosa. It was great uh, having some new faces in here or voices or yeah, whatever. So, um, uh, yeah. Of course you fell asleep, Vince. I don't care. You're over talking with Adam and what, you know, whatever, but that's fine. I get it. I'm only a partial love for you. That's fine. Oh, well. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, catch you soon. I will probably be streaming this week on some more uh, streamer bot stuff. So take care. Bye.